Hello, Namaste, Salam Walekum, Sastriyakal. Welcome back to another session with your war chef at Vareva.com. Today I'm going to make another fantastic dish called chicken bajole. This is more like a chicken pakoda, but you know it has got nice spices and when it is done, wow. And especially this is sold on the streets in the coastal area in Karnataka. And to make this, I'm going to make it very easy. Take a blender, add some coriander leaf, curry leaf. This curry leaf gives nice taste. You know, just little bit of green chilli, piece of ginger and little bit of garlic. We're going to blend this and make into a coarse paste and we're going to mix it with the chicken. Now, take this, uh, you know, coarsely ground uh, paste. In this, we're going to add some salt, garam masala powder. In this, add chilli powder. You know, I like it very spicy. When this dish is done, you want nice red color. So, people who hate to use a food color, just close your eyes for a second. Okay. Now, we're going to add some rice flour, some all-purpose flour. Just first mix this. In this, add lemon juice, just one tablespoon of curd. This is good. Wow. This, this is nicely mixed and uh, wow. It's going to get a little more red than this once you mix the chicken. And now in this, here is a small pieces of chicken. You know, for this preparation, you know, you can use boneless or the chicken, but cut them into small pieces. Okay. And this chicken, I've brined this chicken so that this is nice and tender. If not, after marinating, you just keep this chicken in the fridge for at least 3-4 hours then the chicken will become nice and tender. Wow, this is good. And because the rice flour and the all-purpose flour is there, the masala will nicely stick to this chicken. Mm, mm, mm. Good. You know, add the pieces of this chicken and look at the consistency of the batter. You know, if it is too dry, the masala will come off the batter. But if it is slightly, you know, wet, then the masala will nicely stick to the chicken pieces. Okay. Sometimes when people mix this, the masala comes off the chicken pieces. Then you need to add a little bit water. When you add this rice flour and all-purpose flour, if the mixture is dry, then the masala will come off the chicken. And another thing is the oil has to be hot enough. If it is not hot enough or if you add too many pieces into the oil and make the oil cool down, then also the masala will come off. So add few pieces at a time, make sure the oil is hot and the batter, there is little bit moisture in the batter. That's when they will nicely coat. And look at this. Wow. You know, look at the color of these uh, awesome chicken pieces. These chicken pieces are so perfectly fried. And also the meat is so tender. You know, in every piece, just, you just have to show them the teeth. That's all they'll melt away. That's how nice and juicy the chicken has to be. You know, a lot of people, they don't brine the chicken. And if not, they don't even marinate the chicken properly. That's when the chicken comes out tough. But if you want the chicken to melt nicely in the mouth, just brine the chicken. Dear friends, this awesome chicken bezule, this recipe was sent by one of our viewers. And I'm telling you, this is super, super awesome. Just like our chicken 65. But I hope you enjoyed today's session. Do not forget. Vareva is all about inspiring others to cook. So please post your recipes and cooking tips at vareva.com so others can benefit from your great cooking. Thank you. Mm, mm, mm. Wow. Best chicken.